dozen zack. Oh my god! Hi, my word is spawn to you. Be quiet! And that is what a foot is, um, <laughs> consists of two long or stressed syllables. I'm singing it? Yeah. Say it with like a, a strong Italian accent. Asino dolce. A. Asino dolce. It's a figure of speech in which a part of something is used to represent the whole thing. For example, the symbol of a crown may represent a king. Sonnet. My word is sonnet, and a sonnet is um, a poem of 14 lines, that, and they all use different iambic pentameters. Where? Zugma is the use of a word to modify two or more words, but used for different meanings. In this example, stole will mean two different things. See if you can catch it. Owen stole my money and my heart. The first word is trochi. Oh, and way to be original. It is a two-syllable me no, metrical pattern in a poetry, which stresses a syllable, and then it's followed by an unstressed syllable. So, yeah. And then the next one is an understatement, which is you say something. Shut up! That, that, Shut up! You say something Sorry. that is less, that's less powerful than what you mean. Okay, we got it. Quiet on set. Um, wait, can I make it like an English joke? Yeah. Um, wait, let me think. <laughs> a villanelle is a 19-line lyric poem that relies heavily on repetition. Here's an example of a villanelle poem. Stephanie can walk the walk. She is comedy sports manager. In November, come to her TED Talk. Her sophomore year, she took English history block. But as we all know, she's really into theater. Her favorite jokes start with knock knock. No Rex. Rising meter uses one or two unstressed syllables followed by a stressed one. For example, take the word comprehend. Com is unstressed. Pre is unstressed. Hend is stressed. Make sure you like and subscribe.